Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's webcast. My name is Michael Tronto, and I'm a strategic account specialist at Workersoft. I'm also joined on today's call with Doug Wellsby, who leads as an account executive. Uh, today, we're going to focus on PPM best practices with Microsoft Project Online. After the webinar, you will receive an email with a copy of the recording and the slide deck so you can review. The line will not be open for questions, but you can type in your questions via the chat feature. So if you want to know more about Workersoft and who we are today, we are a Microsoft joint venture that was founded in 2002. We provide consulting, business process outsourcing, managed services, and global support for staffing. We are a triple gold certified Microsoft partner. Less than 1% of partners ever have that designation. We are certified in project portfolio management, collaboration and content, and cloud productivity. From a project and portfolio management standpoint, we have a deep expertise in Project Online and Project Server. So we have a lot of experience helping organizations maximize their efficiency and technological advantage. We have a footprint all over North America and internationally. I will now hand off the webcast to Doug Wellsby. Doug? Thanks for that, Mike. Hello, everyone, and good afternoon or good morning, depending on where you are. My name is Doug Wellsby from Microsoft, as Mike said, a Microsoft partner firm. So welcome to today's webinar about PPM best practices. We'll be telling you a bit more about Microsoft and our offerings in a moment. But before we get started, just a couple of quick logistics items to cover with you. As Mike said earlier, we will not be opening the phone line, but Mike will be monitoring the chat window. So please feel free to submit your questions there, and we'll try to answer those questions submitted via that chat panel. At the end of the presentation, we'll provide Mike's email address so that you can email us directly, and we'll make sure that you get a copy of this presentation and of the webinar uh, webcast, which will be uploaded to our Microsoft On Demand webinar website. So with that, let's get started with PPM best practices. As Mike mentioned, we are a joint venture with Microsoft. Founded in 2002, we have a global footprint. Principally, we have 6,500 global employees and our North American productivity solutions practice has offices throughout the US and Canada. We focus specifically on solutions built on the Microsoft Office 365 and Dynamics platforms. We offer a wide variety of services related to Office 365, including Office, SharePoint Dynamics, Visual Studio, and of course, Project Online. In addition to our consulting and education divisions, Microsoft offers staffing services and managed services to augment your teams in a cost-effective delivery model. Finally, Microsoft has applications development teams developing value-add products for the Office 365 and Dynamics families. Our Microsoft solutions are designed and focused on the Microsoft Office 365 and Dynamics 365 platforms. We build on Azure, embrace Power BI, and deliver proven cost-effective applications and services to get you up and running quickly and immediately realizing value from your investments. As Mike mentioned, we're a triple gold certified partner in project and portfolio management, collaboration and content, and cloud productivity. Microsoft is also proud to be part of the Microsoft Partner Seller Program, a cloud solution provider, and a member of the Microsoft Project Partner Advisory Council. We successfully delivered PPM to thousands of customers across a wide variety of verticals from health sciences to high tech and utilities. So today we're going to talk about Microsoft Project and Portfolio Management, otherwise known as Microsoft PPM. Microsoft's all-inclusive PPM solution for managers of projects, programs, and portfolios, as well as resource managers and team members. During this meeting, we'll discuss the broad capabilities of the solution, as well as discuss some common PMO challenges, best practices, and adoption solutions. Microsoft Project Online offers a flexible, powerful, and comprehensive solution for enterprise project and portfolio management, and everyday work. Leveraging Project Online to increase productivity and provide transparency across your portfolio in the most effective way without introducing complexity 
and ensuring your PMO's success. And there's a great deal of pressure on your PMOs to be successful these days as your senior management focuses on digital transformation. A PwC CEO survey recently identified digital transformation as the number one priority for 86% of CEOs. At its most basic, the success of a project comes down to two things. Did it advance the company's business goals, for, ex for instance, such as expanding into new markets and segments? And was it successfully executed to meet the specific project goals, like delivering the expected scope, on budget, and on time? Findings from the Project Management Institute suggest that companies struggle with both, meaning that the return on the large investments in projects doesn't return the full value. According to PMI, only 43% of companies experience high alignment between projects and strategy. Or said another way, projects at 57% of companies do not advance the overall strategy, and only 62% of projects meet their specific goals. As you put these together, there's significant room for improvement. The complexity of managing a PMO is one of the key challenges we're faced with. Project management is much more of an art than a science, and the artists, the project managers themselves, need to carefully manage the complexity involved in this art. Think about resource management for a moment. Resources are your most valuable and expensive asset. And effective resource management is almost always one of the key objectives of Wickersoft's customers. Resource management is challenging. You'll need to establish your pool of resources, their availability and capacity, their competencies, the demand for their time for both project-related and non-project-related activities, and many other elements related to resources before implementing this effectively. It's complex and challenging. Then consider how you manage projects and work. Agile has become a key focus for many organizations, and blending agile approaches with traditional waterfall project management is complex. With resources, which we just discussed, receiving work assignments and reporting progress across multiple tools such as Jira, Visual Studio, and Project Online, agile methodologies add additional complexity. Each team within your project management organization also has specific challenges by role. Project managers have visibility into their work, but often they have no purview into development schedules. In many cases, they can't react quickly to changes simply because of the change control processes, stakeholder management, and the baselines put in place at the beginning of the project. They also don't understand development issues and in many cases, they have resources working on both types of projects, agile and traditional. So they need to be able to have visibility across all of their team's work, regardless of where the work resides. Developers require different tools because their planning is completely different. It's iterative and it allows for a think on your feet mentality. There is less PPM discipline when leveraging the agile approach, such as automated status reporting and approvals. They don't have the visibility they need into project issues. And these challenges lead to a disconnect between the two teams that can cause bigger challenges for the organization as a whole. Executives are responsible for making the decisions that keep the organization alive. Where are we going? What are our priorities? And how much value are we delivering? And then finally, we go over to customer success and they're missing the information they need to stay engaged with the customer. Where are the products going that their customers are using? and what projects are in progress for each engagement. Before we dig deeper into Project Online best practices and adoption solution, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Project Online, let's take a quick look at the solution. Microsoft PPM helps you deliver on business strategies through high impact outcomes. You can think of the PPM lifecycle as comprised of three phases, ideate, plan, and execute. Ideate is the initiation phase in which ideas are collected and projects are proposed. Plan, this phase includes preliminary planning of the projects at a high level, including budget estimates. And execute, the goal of this phase 
is to deliver the projects through collaboration of the involved stakeholders. Built on Microsoft's cloud, Microsoft PPM weaves in, weaves in cloud services that power the PPM solution with collaboration capabilities, advanced analytics that drive insights, and the ability to customize and extend the solution to meet unique needs of your organization. All of this is built on Microsoft's cloud infrastructure. That means you get enterprise-grade security and compliance, high security, geographically diverse data centers, and a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee. So what is ideation? It's that process of gathering ideas, developing project proposals that collectively advance your corporate strategy. Successful project initiatives can come from anywhere in the organization. But how do you solicit and organize these initial ideas, especially if you're asking for input from a large number of people? SharePoint lists are an easy way to solicit and track ideas, and eventually promote them to projects once approved. Anyone with the right permissions can enter an idea and rank ideas from others to collectively encourage ideation using this PPM tool. For more mature organizations, Project Online offers a more formal method for capturing project proposals of different types. Enterprise project types set the foundation for project types by allowing association with a templatized workflow for each project type, a work breakdown structure or schedule template, and a corresponding template-based collaboration site. Here's an example. Let's assume you're proposing the development of a new product. You choose the relevant proposal type, such as new product development, with an underpinning enterprise project type that includes predefined workflow steps, a set of details for the proposal business case, such as a start date, estimated work, effort, and cost. Thanks to EPTs or enterprise project types, this new project development cycle will follow the same steps in this life cycle and will contain the same information as all other new product development projects do, helping follow company protocol and enabling decision makers to compare similar initiatives. The next step is planning. First off, selecting the effective portfolios that you intend to deliver and devising pragmatic project plans. Microsoft PPM helps managers make informed decisions by using a built-in portfolio analysis tool. Organizations should use this tool to evaluate the impact of incoming initiatives against the active in-flight portfolio projects or to assess the impact and feasibility of new portfolios. In both instances, managers can use the tool to determine a portfolio of projects that maximizes value given cost and current resource availability and constraints. Managers can adjust these constraints throughout the process to evaluate how additional funding or additional resources might improve business outcomes and alter the set of selected projects. This kind of visualized what-if analysis gives portfolio managers an objective format for evaluating project proposals as well as the ability to run any number of alternative solutions and scenarios to compare different approaches. Microsoft Project, the desktop project management tool, is part of the PPM solution and comes with a host of tools to quickly start new projects, including a gallery of enterprise-ready templates. Microsoft Project offers project managers everything they need for planning and tracking, including pre build views, robust planning functions, reports, and more. The Microsoft Project Client uses a familiar office experience to list available templates, recently opened projects, making it easier for project managers to find and launch the project they need. And of course, project plans started in the Microsoft Project Client can be saved and published to Microsoft PPM Online through Project Web App for others to view and edit. Finally, execution, where you are trying to organize, orchestrate the execution and help ensure performance 
and the outcomes, the teams, the resources that are working on these plans are on track. Thanks to the cloud and Project Online delivered as part of Office 365 in the cloud, team members have an easy way to submit both time and task updates in a single form through Microsoft PPM. Using a timesheet view, team members can enter time and task updates from virtually anywhere. And team members can also identify and assign themselves to unclaimed tasks, which ensures personal ownership of the project while reducing the burden on project managers to assign every last task. Changes to the original baseline plan can be expected for almost all projects. It's just part of the delivery of projects. Microsoft PPM allows project managers to evaluate the impact of changes, such as project duration, finish dates, work effort, and cost, before accepting updates from team members for better control and management of changes. And for new and emergent projects or work, managers can use the portfolio analysis module to determine if the new work can start without impacting existing work. You mentioned collaboration, and collaboration is key to Project Online and the Office 365 platform, and it's found throughout the solution. Microsoft PPM is built on the Microsoft Cloud, which is an inherently collaborative platform. Instead of working in a silo, project managers can share project plans with the entire team gain visibility into shared resource pools, and enable decision makers to see progress without scheduling time-consuming meetings. Dedicated SharePoint sites also give teams the ability to manage documents, action items, issues, and risks. SharePoint sites are associated with each project. These are sometimes called project team sites, so that teams have a single place to manage the latest conversations, documents, risks, and issues, and many other artifacts related to the delivery of these projects. Insights is key to a collaborative approach such as Project Online. Microsoft's Office 365 Power BI takes Microsoft PPM data to the next level with visualized dashboards and reports that enable project teams to see data in many new ways. Microsoft offers a content pack that integrates Project Online and Power BI for out-of-the-box reporting. Wikisoft also offers additional reporting packs with richer and more comprehensive customized reporting. And extensibility. Finally, this solution is able to be extended so that you can use the right tool for the job to best serve your business environment and your needs. Different companies in different industries have different needs. While the standard Microsoft PPM feature set serves most customers, there might be times when certain data or a connected app is required to re realize the full potential of the PPM solution. During the demonstration today, we'll take a deep dive into the Microsoft One PPM solution, an enhanced and tailored PPM customization designed to get your organization up and running quickly on Project Online. So what does it take to deploy Project Online? What are the best practices for getting started? And what are some recommended adoption solutions? Let's take a look at some approaches. Foundationally, a best practice is to take a phased, iterative implementation approach. Plan the deployment. Treat it as a project itself. Break it down into reasonable, manageable phases. As that expression goes, and there's many of them, don't boil the ocean or don't bite off more than you can chew with an implementation of Project Online. Keep it simple in the early phases and try and realize value early in the deployment of this solution. To deploy Project Online, you're going to need executive support. You're going to need funding. You're gonna need a change management process throughout the organization and realizing value early with some quick hits for everyone in the organization is critical and important. Approach this with an iterative release, feedback cycle, and then refresh and repeat that. The feedback cycle is critical. Get feedback throughout the organization, everyone from team members, to project managers, 
portfolio owners, executives, finance managers, etc. Anyone involved in this deployment, anyone touching data related to project delivery needs to be involved in these feedback cycles so that as you move into a subsequent phase, you can adopt those lessons learned, take that feedback uh, into account and make changes to the deployed solution. Tackle your resource management in a subsequent phase. I spoke earlier about the complexities of resource management and many of our customers are eager to use Project Online for resource management. There's a lot of complexity in delivering an effective resource management tool. Everything from knowing who your resources are, when they're available for work, and then overlaying demand on top of that availability requires a specific or minimal level of resource management maturity within the organization. Try and convince your stakeholders, the individuals who are funding and supporting this project, that resource management is something that can be addressed in a second or third iteration and get some of the basics right before you start tackling a more complex subject such as resource management. Portfolio management, that what if analysis where you assess which projects are a best fit, which projects you can afford, which projects you may have resources available to staff versus project management, the actual execution of those projects once those decisions have been made can be independent implementations. One half of the organization can focus on what if decision making while the other part of the organization carries on with project execution. These independent implementations can be brought together in subsequent phases or iterations, and there's no right answer as to which one needs to come first. Finally, change management is critical for successful deployments. Throughout the entire deployment cycle of Project Online, treating this as a project, you need to be addressing, mitigating risk, and handling change management. Everything from technical issues right through to training of your resources within the organization and how they're gonna use this new tool. Wikisoft has an iterative deployment methodology. Just as we mentioned a moment ago around uh, iterating through and getting feedback, making a review, refreshing, repeating, this is our approach towards delivery and successful delivery of Project Online for many of our customers. So this scrum-based approach passed through in weekly sprints where we design, build, test, get feedback, and the design, build, test, and repeat again has been very, very successful for us. We encourage our customers to follow this type of approach. Finally, around adoption of the solution, you need something for everyone within the organization. As I mentioned earlier, the support and the executive sponsorship of this solution means that they need something out of this as well. Executives are looking for something very different from what a team member is looking for versus what a financial manager is seeking uh, within the deployment of a project online solution. So try and reduce barriers to participation, reduce barriers to seeing value with touch points for everyone. As an example, team members are often asked to submit a weekly status report or a timesheet or a task update type of process. Try and reduce barriers to adoption and participation by eliminating the requirement for these team members to update multiple systems. If you're collecting time somewhere, try not to ask those team members to collect time in an additional system as you go live or start to deploy project online. That will cause resistance and refusal by these team members to participate in an effective project online deployment. SharePoint Online. SharePoint's included with Project Online. Use it, your teams already know it. Almost everyone has touched SharePoint or used it at some point in time. It's foundational to Project Online and a great deal of value can be built into an implementation of Project Online when you take advantage of the underlying capabilities of SharePoint Online. Try and resist duplicating data. Many organizations have financial management systems, human resource management systems, 
and now deploying a project management system, it's tempting to try and import or export information from one or many of these systems to consolidate it in a single tool. But they all have different purposes. So resisting that urge means using a tool such as Power BI or Tableau or another reporting tool to resist duplicating data across systems and instead report on it to consolidate a view that your executives, your financial managers, or your project managers will find useful. Project Online is a new tool. It's a brand new way of delivering projects for many organizations. So do a review and consider a reset of your existing processes. Many times processes have been put into place due to constraints or the inability of an existing project management tool to meet the organization's needs, to be flexible enough to adapt or adjust. So consider a review and a refresh of what those processes look like, reflecting what Project Online is capable of and what you can easily do with Project Online and SharePoint Online to meet your organizational needs. Embrace bimodal, meaning waterfall, and agile approaches. Embrace that because your development teams that are working in Jira or Visual Studio or in another agile tool won't necessarily want to give that up and use Project Online. Whereas your project managers and your project management teams in the PMO will want to adopt Microsoft Project and use Project Online. So consider solutions such as Wickersoft's Project Connect to embrace that and bring those teams together while leaving them working with the tool best suited to their needs. And then finally, role-based training is essential. Wickersoft has a wide set of offerings around education, everything from uh, eAcademy, which is a tool for project managers and team members to learn remotely at their own pace, to classroom-based instructor-led training. And it's essential to have proper role-based training for everyone in the organization touching the solution. So there's many, many different aspects to Microsoft's PPM solution, lots of complexity, lots of touch points in the solution. Be careful as you do a deployment, take an iterative approach and make sure that you're not overwhelming the organization with too much change and you're preparing the organization with adequate and sufficient process and training. So with that, I'd like to take you through a walkthrough, a demonstration of our One PPM for Project Online solution. So One PPM was built and designed to embrace some of the best practices that Microsoft has learned over the years doing those thousands of deployments for our customers. What One, One PPM does is it kickstarts your project online deployment with a pre-configured project online set of environmental configurations for custom fields, views, the look and feel has been adopted and changed to be more useful. And we have a variety of pre-built apps that we include with 1PM to address project requests or ideation, to address benefits realization, finances, and many more elements that are outlined on this slide. And finally, 1PPM includes a series of project online reports, which I'll be illustrating to you today during the demonstration. So with that, let's take a look at a demo. I'll walk you through Project Online, and we'll look at 1PPM as part of an, uh, a unique configuration of the Project Online solution available from Microsoft. So I'll transition here over to a project online environment. If you've used Project Online in the past, it may or may not look similar. Some of the layout on the screen here will be reflective of what comes out of the box with Project Online. And some other layout on the screen is going to be a little different. So first of all, the control elements of the solution are very similar in that we have a quick launch area on the left-hand side of the pane. Some of the navigation has been changed to reflect our 1PPM implementation, but elements such as projects, resources, portfolio management should remain consistent and should be visible or should be something you're familiar with. What we've done with 1PPM is we've introduced an easy to use 
carousel of apps and a very quick and easy way for individuals within the organization to get through to, for example, an area where they can update their work and submit timesheets or task updates. An area within the solution where you can go quickly and look at your projects, where you've been assigned to work, or if you're a project manager, the projects that you are responsible for delivery on. And then we've also highlighted here the eCademy solution, which is not part of 1PPM, but again, critical for organizations to deliver effective training throughout the life cycle of delivery of project online at the outset and also for new members that are joining the team new to the organization wishing to learn about project online and how 1PPM has been deployed. We also include with 1PPM some enhancements to the ideation process that ships with project online. So if I click on this area here on the left called ideas, we open up our ideation app You see here project requests, submissions for new project ideas that have been submitted by various members within the organization. I mentioned previously that the security around the solution means that if you've been given access to this page, then you have the rights to go in and drop in a new idea or a new proposal for specific work to be delivered. So it's as easy as clicking on new item and filling in some of the fields required for a new project submission. In this case, if I look at the Sinvel project automation proposal and open up that item, you'll see that we've captured some high level information about this proposal, including a title, some details, et cetera. There's a request prioritization area within the solution as well that allows us to capture information about which sorts of business benefits we're expecting to see related to this project. What are the risks associated with delivery? of the project, some estimated costs and benefits, et cetera. And the benefits can be further outlined into a fiscal year approach where we are seeing specific benefits in specific fiscal years going forward for this project. And of course, benefits capture is important and critical to the estimation around which projects should be approved and which projects we should uh, proceed with throughout the organization. This ideation page allows you to take the project proposals through a quick workflow, a review process, and then subsequent to one of these project proposals being moved into an approved status, it's as easy as clicking on this button here and saying create project, where we then build out a brand new project within the tool based on some of the information that's been submitted here in the project request process, such as the project type, the name of the project, who the sponsor is, et cetera. So very simple, a very quick and easy approach towards ideation within the organization. Not a lot of process required to deploy this, a great deal of value in that you can workflow, workflow through these new submissions in a secure fashion and then proceed directly through to the planning phase when one of those new submissions has been approved. Additional to project requests, there's also the concept of service requests. So many organizations have a service request or service management type of tool in place, such as ServiceNow. If you don't have something like that, or if you want to instead maybe deploy a internal service requests process, maybe just for the PMO or for people that are working within that smaller work group or smaller organization, this service requests app that we deploy with 1PPM allows you to do just that. Go in, drop in a new request, such as something as simple as my laptop screen is not showing anything or my surface is not charging anymore. Assess these new requests that are coming in, assign them to someone, and effectively manage service requests and work using this tool. Later in the presentation, I'll show you some reports where some of these requests for new ideas or service requests surface and you're able to review them in a much more graphical approach or graphical manner than these lists that we're looking at here through this interface for project requests or service requests. So once that ideation has happened and these new projects have been dropped into the tool, 
let's go in and look at what they look like within the project center within the Microsoft Project Online and one BPM interface. So in this view of the one PPM project center, we see a long list of projects. Each one of these links in this interface represents a project plan. As an executive within the organization, I get to see all of the projects. Normally a project manager would see only his or her respective projects. Within the interface as well, we also see some easy to understand KPI indicators about these projects. This first collection of projects is all in the requested phase. And so they're all green right now. We're submitting all of these, getting them through a workflow process to move forward. Subsequent to that, as projects move through an approved stage and an in-progress stage, we start to see some of these status indicators change. So some of these projects have turned yellow or turned red across various KPI indicators. So our one PPM solution includes a variety of out of the box indicators, KPI values such as this. Some of them are calculated. Some of them are manually set as the project progresses, but effectively surfacing some very easy to understand and views within the project center of the status and uh, condition, the health, if you would, of these various projects. Again, as we get into the reporting solution part of 1PPM, you'll see some more graphical views. This basic project center view, though, still very powerful, available to everyone in the organization, no matter what their licensing for Project Online is. Anyone from team members through to executives can view these types of reports. Additionally, with 1PPM, we ship a variety of different customized views so that you can consume information related to your projects in a variety of different ways. So everything from the project center view that we're, the summary view rather, that we're looking at right now to projects by application or by department, projects grouped by portfolio and program. So different ways of viewing the information, the projects that you have in the project center, all included with the one PPM solution. I mentioned earlier that Project Online includes not only a basic ideation process, as we have in the Ideas app, but also the concept of enterprise project types. As I open up this tool here to say, I wanna submit a new project, what we see is that there's a variety of different enterprise project types available to the organization. We ship our one PPM solution with a PMBOK enterprise project type. That enterprise project type includes a workflow related to PMBOK with various phases and stages. It includes a template for that project plan based on PMBOK processes, complete with the workflow having approval stages, et cetera. So if I go in and look at one of these PMBOK projects, for example, this social networking project that we see here, I open up this social networking integration project. Here's the workflow process for that social networking integration project. We see that currently it's in the initiating phase of the project, and we're currently waiting for approval to move forward to planning. The workflow includes a variety of different phases and stages. And again, as I mentioned earlier, this is included with one PPM so that you can get started quickly with a basic PMBOK approach or PMBOK process for managing your, pro your projects and taking them through the execution process. The next stage after planning, when you've submitted new projects and captured some of the high level requirements for those projects, you'll take that through a portfolio analysis, determine which projects get delivered, and finally move towards a process of delivering those projects. So within that delivery process, if I open up this VoIP phones project, we're executing on VoIP phones right now. We see in this page that we have a variety of different information pages available to us, all part of 1PPM, information about financials, benefits, et cetera. 
And of course, here's the high level schedule, or rather the detailed schedule for that VoIP phones project, all available throughout that project online interface. And of course, this is all secured. If you're on the VoIP phones team, you can view this page. If you're not, you won't necessarily have access to it. If you're the project manager for VoIP phones, you can edit this project right directly within this, um, within this interface. If you're a resource on the team, you'd have a view only access to this page and would not be able to make edits. So let's go to the project site for VoIP phones. And by project site, I mean that SharePoint collaboration page. As I mentioned earlier in the presentation, SharePoint's available with Project Online. Project Online ships with an underlying SharePoint Online subscription to 0365. And as part of 1PPM, we've taken that out of the box SharePoint experience and done some configuration and customization to deliver a great deal of value to the Project Online solution. So we see here that on the VoIP phone project page, we've grouped information together and surfaced some additional functionality above and beyond what ships with Project Online out of the box. So in this case, for example, we looked at the schedule earlier, but in the VoIP phone project team site, we can go in and look at, for example, the objectives of this project. This is a place where we can capture the purpose of the project, what the various objectives are, assign them to different individuals to track and determine whether or not we're meeting or addressing those specific objectives. We can go in and look at the financials related to this project. And while we do offer a more comprehensive cost planning and financial management add-on solution for Project Online, with 1PPM, we deliver a very, very uh, easy to understand interface and usable process for managing the financials around delivery of your specific projects. In this case, we've captured contract labor estimates, equipment estimates, labor and software for this project. We're viewing that in an annualized process, year over year, quarter over quarter, summing up and viewing what's happening with regards to finances uh, related to this specific project. There's other apps that we deliver as well, including status reporting. Everyone wants to know what's going on with regards to the status for their projects. Here's a status reporting app delivered again through SharePoint for the VoIP phones project, part of 1PPM. I'll show you again later when we look at reporting, how the status reporting can be surfaced through a much more visual interface, something that's perhaps a little more uh, rich than this, uh, than this basic view that we see here. So again, within the 1PPM environment, we have the ability to ship, uh, we ship 1PPM rather, with a template for these project sites so that as you fire up a brand new project, publish it to Project Online, you'll get this rich collaboration website for each and every project with these customized applications around objectives, benefits, financial management, et cetera. So finally, let's take a look at the reporting built into Project Online on top of Power BI and what we ship with the 1PPM solution. So if I open up the reporting area of our 1PPM deployment, you'll see here that the 1PPM information technology project web app application has a series of reports. Again, these are accessible to individuals within your organization given the right security rights to access them. You'd make them available to people who need to see these reports, either the project status report or the project financials, based on their role and their objectives within the organization. You deploy these different reports based on who needs to see what. So within the project status report, for example, I'll open this up. We see the 1PPM project status report delivered here. I can look at a summary of all of my projects, including status indicators about cost, schedule, health, et cetera. 
you'll see also that I can scroll through to any one of these projects in this list and then very quickly drill through to a project status report for that specific project. The tabs in the lower half of the screen have now changed. I move from the summary page through to the status report drill through. And in this case, I'm now looking at a detailed report around that VoIP phones project. How much work has been consumed, how much of the budget's been consumed so far, what the percent completed the project is, et cetera. Of course, there's other tabs available around schedule, cost, work, issues, risks, et cetera. All of this available through this one PPM reporting interface. Let's go back and look at another report. For example, the project requests report. If I open that up, this is where we're able to expose information about the ideas that are being submitted within the tool in that list that we looked at earlier in Project Online. We're able to consolidate that information and render it in a reporting interface here to show you things, for example, about requests for, as an example, cloud computing. So I click through the cloud computing area of this report and I see that we have a couple of submissions for cloud computing. I can then go in and look at security related submissions that are coming in through that new requests tool. And then finally, we see information around prioritization of these, costs versus benefits for the various projects by type, estimated benefits and costs, et cetera. And if you're on this page and you wanna see what your requests are, the ones that you've submitted, it's as easy as clicking through here. That'll open up a new tab within your browser. And here are my project requests that we've submitted. If I go back there and say I want to submit a new request, it'll also open up that same capability in that same list to submit a new idea and start to workflow through that new project request so that you can address additional requirements for the organization. Finally, if we open up the project portfolio status report, you'll see here that we've worked very hard to render this information in a very eye-pleasing manner. If you go through and look at this timeline view, for example, you'll see a graphical representation of your projects that are being submitted through the process, what's in a requested phase, what's in an approved phase, and finally, which various projects within that tool have been submitted in and are in progress right now. Of course, this is, again, like many of these other Power BI reports, clickable, you can drill through, and you can address various reporting needs very easily with this solution. So that brings us to the end of our webinar today. As a special offer, I'd ask that you please reach out to us and ask about our free PPM assessment and roadmap. Or if you want to obtain a free trial of Project Online, we can help to facilitate implementation of Project Online in a limited time fashion as a free trial provided by Microsoft. If you want a custom one-on-one -on -one demo, maybe perhaps tailored to your specific questions or business needs, our sales associates are very happy to help. We'd be glad to work through that process with you and ensure your organization gets the answers to the questions you may have about Project Online. Finally, if you want to learn more, visit wixsoft.com or go see our website specifically targeted towards Project Online at project-online.com. Mike initiated the webinar for us today. And you can connect with Mike at motronto at wickersoft.com. Please take note of the URL and Mike's email address. He'd be happy to help you or to direct you to one of our sales executives throughout the US and Canada who will be able to take you through that, that custom presentation or custom demonstration uh, process. And finally, Mike will be distributing a copy of the links where you'll find this recorded session and the slides for download and viewing. So with that, I'd like to thank you for your time and attention today. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks very much.